yes tropical cyclones are nothing but low pressure depression formed in the tropical areas formed due to thermal reasons low pressure depression tropical areas formed due to thermal reasons where, where does it form it forms on the water what are the conditions pehle ye dekh liya ki kaise move karta hai it also moves anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere it moves clockwise in the southern hemisphere where does it originate it originates over water and when it moves over land it dies itna hi dekha tha okay now give the heading give the heading the conditions favorable for the tropical cyclones the conditions favorable for the tropical cyclones what are the conditions favorable for the tropical cyclones conditions favorable for the conditions favorable for the formation of the tropical cyclones okay now understand what's happening suppose the water is warm the water has temperature of 27 degree celsius the water starts evaporating as the water starts evaporating droplet to water vapor it is taking some energy and it is evaporate as it is evaporating a low pressure depression is getting formed as a low pressure depression is getting formed the air is getting pulled up this water droplet to conversion of water vapor requires some energy this water vapor moves up as it moves up it forms it condenses it condenses and then forms clouds while it is condensing it is also releasing some energy release kiya because condense ho raha tha obviously jab evaporate ho raha tha to energy ले रहा था जब कंडेंस हो रहा है तो एनर्जी देगा तो एल इट इज कंडेंसिंग दिस वॉटर वेपर फॉर्म क्लाउड इट इज कंडेंसिंग एंड इट ऑल्सो गिव्स एनर्जी टू द एंटायर सिस्टम फिर ये सिस्टम और एनर्जाइज होता है सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग द टेम्परेचर इज हाई देर इज कंटिन्यूस मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर द एयर इज मूविंग वॉटर वेपर इज कन्वर्टिंग टू वॉटर ड्रॉपलेट इज कन्वर्टिंग टू वॉटर वेपर द वॉटर वेपर राइजेस विच इज अ गैस द वॉटर वेपर कंडेंस टू फॉर्म वॉटर ड्रॉपलेट विच इज क्लाउड्स and this releases energy and the re release of energy against goes to system system or re energizer niche jitna garam hota ja raha hai jitna upar ja raha hai utna clouds bana raha hai system or energizer continuously this is going on happening and this pressure is also getting moved by the wind as it is moving by the wind as it reaches the continent as soon as it reaches the continent now it is cut off from the source of energy and therefore it starts dying and whatever energy is left the energy starts destroying the anything and everything that comes on its path what's happening water water droplet evaporating water vapor water vapor going up condensing ye water droplet jab move bana water vapor mein bana isne kuch energy leak ki systems ye energy water vapor ke through upar gayi ab jab ye water vapor vapor water droplet mein yani cloud mein convert ho jayega to ye energy release kare ye release karke energy absorb kaun karta hai yahi tropical cyclone ka system aur iske paas kafi powerful energy hote and it also is moved by the winds from west to east easterly winds are from west to east it keep on moving once it reaches the land it is cut off from the base as as it is cut off from the base it destroys everything and anything that comes so what are the conditions write the first one write the first condition first a large area a large area of a large area of water surface with temperature with temperature above 27 degree celsius with temperature above 27 degree celsius second coriolis force Coriolis force dash करके Coriolis force should be strong enough. Coriolis force should be strong enough to form a to form a cyclonic vortex. form a cyclonic vortex what is happening there is a low pressure depression that is formed and there should be coriolis force so that there is some circulation that starts happening some movement starts happening cyclonic vortex any kuch cheez ghoom rahi hai something is rotating third point a weak low pressure area 
a weak low pressure area or a low level cyclonic circulation or a low level cyclonic circulation can already which already exists which already exists on the ocean surface on the ocean surface can reinforce can reinforce and turn into and turn into tropical cyclone ठीक है तो अगर पहले से ही कोई वीक एग्जिस्टिंग वीक लो प्रेशर है इन दी ओशन द टेम्परेचर इज नॉट एज हाई एज ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस बट देर इज ऑलरेडी अ वीक लो प्रेशर दैट इज एक्सिस्टिंग देन वॉट विल हैपन दर इज अ लो प्रेशर दैट इज हैपनिंग दैट मीन्स द टेम्परेचर इज स्टिल हाई नॉट एज हाई एज ट्वेंटी सेवन बट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री यानी थोड़ा बहुत इवेपोरेशन हो रहा है एक वीक लो प्रेशर है बट इट कैन बिकॉज ऑफ इवेपोरेशन कंटिन्यूसली हैपनिंग इट कैन डेवलप एंड स्ट्रेन इन टू अ वेरी स्ट्रॉग लो प्रेशर जब वो स्ट्रेन हो जाएगा इन टू स्ट्रॉग लो प्रेशर वॉट हैपन द सर्क्युलेशन विल स्टार्ट एज द सर्क्युलेशन विल स्टार्ट देन यू हैव इवेपोरेशन कंडेंसेशन रिलीज ऑफ एनर्जी अगेन इवेपोरेशन कंडेंसेशन एंड रिलीज ऑफ एनर्जी तो अ वीक एग्जिस्टिंग लो प्रेशर कैन स्ट्रेन एंड बिकम अ पावरफुल लो प्रेशर इन टू अ टिकल Right. Right. The next one. There should be. There should be. There should be divergence. There should be divergence around nine to fifteen kilometer. Okay. Like it's like if I have. A low pressure here. If I have a low pressure, the air is rising. The air is continuously rising. That means at the upper troposphere, near the tropopause, there should be what? There should be divergence. If there is no divergence in the upper troposphere, this low pressure cannot sustain. नीचे का low pressure sustain नहीं हो पाएगा अगर ऊपर divergence नहीं. So there has to be a divergence. So what are the condition? One condition I said, a low pressure, a weak low pressure can exist. Second condition, sea surface temperature of twenty-seven degree Celsius. You should also have Coriolis force that something starts rotating, and this air, as the air is rising, there should be what? There should be upper level divergence. Otherwise, otherwise this low pressure cannot sustain. If you observe, if you observe in the diagram that we will study later. Here there is a divergence that is happening, right? Rising of the air, the air diverges, and some amount of some um, so this is like this. There is rising that is going. There is divergence that is going, but some amount of air also falls inside in the tropical cyclone. I K time thing. I is very very calm. To look at tropical cyclone structure, the I is very very calm. Now you can see this. Yeah, this one. So air rises, moves apart. Air rises, move apart. But some amount of air also subsides in the tropical cyclone. So, ये जो I होती है, सबसे calm conditions I पे मिलती है, और सबसे dangerous condition I wall पे होती है, because there are very powerful winds at the I wall. But at the eye, there's some kind of subsiding warm. Yeah. Obviously, कुछ air है तो maximum air ऐसे जा रही है. But obviously, some air can come down also. What I'm trying to say is, for this low pressure to sustain, you should have a powerful divergence at the upper troposphere. So that is the condition we were writing. That there should be divergence at around nine to fifteen kilometers. Right? Then, इसी में continue करो. Which suck, which suck the air. Which suck the air? Which suck the air from the ocean surface above? Which suck the air 
from the ocean surface above and thus and thus the low pressure the low pressure at the surface the low pressure at the surface is strengthening is strengthening okay somebody said that i should explain third point again suppose this is the ocean if you have already a low pressure here or here obviously that means the air is rising with the continuous rising this low pressure will strengthen this low pressure will strengthen as the low pressure strengthens it can attract the wind from the surface as it can attract the wind because of coriolis force the wind can will start rotating so if you have a weak low pressure it can transform into a cyclone it can transform into a cyclone तो जब आप साइक्लोन की मॉनिटरिंग करते हैं वेन यू नो दैट लेट्स पेपर जॉय हाउ यू नो दैट पेपर जॉय वुड एक्चुअली टर्न इन टू साइक्लोन यू विल सी दैट इफ देर इज एक्सिस्टिंग लो प्रेशर डिप्रेशन वॉट इज द विंड स्पीड बाई विच द विंड इज गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू दिस लो प्रेशर अगर विंड की स्पीड कम है बहुत तो प्रॉबेबली इट मे नॉट टर्न इन टू अ फुल फ्लेज साइक्लोन इफ द विंड स्पीड इज राइजिंग एंड फास्ट इट कैन टर्न इन टू अ साइक्लोन राइट सो दैट वॉज द क्वेश्चन that was asked so manta is it clear by the next point the next conditions variation right i'll explain variation in the vertical wind speed variation in the vertical wind speed variation in the vertical wind speed are minor are minor this is referred to as this is referred to as low wind shear low wind shear what does this point mean this point means that if the wind is rising if the wind is rising so the low pressure the air is rising the air is rising the speed if near the surface is let's say 30 km per hour here also it should be around 32 to 35 km per hour as you move higher it can be around 35 to 36 km per hour further you move high what is the speed at which the wind is rising let's say 40 km per hour that means the 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 speed at which the wind is rising the speed at which wind is rising there should not be much difference there should not be much variation why because we need to sustain a low pressure we need to sustain a high pressure if there is lot of disturbance bahut zyada variation hai 20 km per hour 40 km per hour 50 km per hour if there is lot of variation to sustain a high pressure and to sustain a low pressure becomes difficult so wind rise should be nearly same 30 km per hour hour फिर राइज कर रहा है अगर एट पॉइंट ए तो पॉइंट बी पे भी उतने ही स्पीड से उठना चाहिए पॉइंट सी पे भी उतने ही स्पीड से उठना चाहिए बिकॉज अगर ये बहुत ज्यादा टर्ब्यूलेंस हो रहा है इज नॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस यू के नॉट सस्टेन हाई प्रेशर एंड लो प्रेशर ऑन द ग्राउंड पूरे सिस्टम को आपको स्टेबल करके रखना पूरे सिस्टम को सस्टेन करके रखना है सो वॉट यू नीड यू नीड अ लो विंड शेयर वॉट इज लो विंड शेयर दैट द वेरिएशन इन द स्पीड शुड नॉट बी मच राइट एज द विंड इज राइजिंग दे शुड नॉट बी मच वेरिएशन इन द speed of the wind try right, the next one the next one is that the tropical cyclone the tropical cyclone develop around develop around the itcz itcz is the region of low pressure so tropical cyclone they will develop around the itcz itcz kaise move karta 5 degree north and 5 degree south at some regions itcz can also move 22 to 25 degree north so this is the movement of itcz itcz is the low pressure low pressure along the equator theoretically theoretically ye low pressure ka hona chahiye always at the equator 
But what is happening in reality? In reality, the sun is moving north and south. So ITCZ should also move north and south. Low pressure ban raha, sun ke karan ban raha, sun directly heat kar raha, air rise kar low pressure ban raha. Theoretically, equator pe banna chahi, but it can move north and south, 5 degree. It can move as far as 15 to 20 degree on a land. 15 to 20 degree on a land. Jahan jahan ITCZ rahegi, vaha maha kya rahega? Low pressure. You have the low pressure, so I can have a low pressure here. I can have a low pressure here. I can have a low pressure here. So I can have tropical cyclone here. I can have low pressure here. I can have tropical cyclone here. I can have tropical cyclone here. I can have tropical cyclone here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. In the summers. In the winters, ITCZ is. In the winters, ITCZ is this one. To the South, 5 degree to the south. So, ITCZ, can you see? ITCZ, jaha jaha rahega, cyclones vaha vaha rahega. So, here, I can have ITCZ ke paas, yaha, billy billy in Australia. I can have somewhere here. This is your Indian Ocean, the Southern Indian Ocean. I can have in the Southern Indian Ocean. Can I have in Southern Atlantic Ocean? Dikra, ITCZ hi nahi hai. Agar ITCZ nahi hai, yaha pe to hai, but ito equator, equator pe kya hota hai? Coriolis force is zero. So Coriolis force is not there, so you will not have. Can I have, can I have along, so I don't have along the Atlantic Ocean. Even in the Pacific, I have very minute, very minute cyclones. But I don't have cyclones nearly in the Atlantic Ocean. So the ITCZ near equator here. So equator pe to cyclone nahi because there is no. So ITCZ ko follow karta hai. 